Hey folks, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I have a sneak peek of a uh, new radio that I'm going to be using and I thought I'd give you a quick sort of out of the box look at this thing. This is the Fly Sky FSI 10, 10 channel radio. Uh, this is really to me taking uh, radio sort of to an all new level. Uh, this is a really solidly built uh, 10 channel radio uh, and it may be coming here soon to, um, uh, to Diamond Hobby. So uh, please inquire with this thing at diamondhobby.com. You can see how thin of a radio this thing is. It's kind of like a combining a, uh, an Android phone with a radio, uh, and it just has tons of nice features on it. It has a real solid feel to it, really nice uh, gimbals and everything, nice and smooth, um, uh, nice hand grips all throughout the entire thing. Switches are in a really nice position, um, really more like uh, sort of the European style of tray radio, but instead of having switches all up here, they're all right up front. Three position switches up front, so you can put flaps on either side for airplane use, and retractable landing gear, or you know any other switches that you may want to have rates, you can assign them and put them anywhere you want. Uh, also here, uh, really uh, nice, uh, adjustable knobs and you can turn those either with the friction of your finger or you can just press them and they all come out and uh, you can adjust them that way and once you get them adjusted just put them back in so really sweet now for all those of you like slider type knobs um, there's sliders on the side too that you can get to uh, this one is totally a variable slider on this side uh, this one here has a really nice um, it has a, actually a uh, a detent right in the center so it actually does uh, neutralize um, but overall really sweet really compact radio nice uh, um, you know movable antenna uh, that you can put wherever you want and uh, uh, just a, a super nice design on this thing now the base of this thing is rubber it's nice and tough it's not plastic so putting it down uh, it has a nice a uh, lot of friction that holds it in place um, the sticks themselves um, are really set up nicely for those who like to fly with your thumbs or those who like to use your fingers. It has a real good tactile grip for really either either flying style. Now some of the real innovative features on this thing, uh, just flipping it around. I got my bind plug because it does use a bind plug. I, I usually keep those on my radio right here so I always have one handy if I need it. Um, but right here on the back you can see it has a, a trainer and a USB kind of rubber port here that you can kind of open up and uh, uh, you can see your trainer port right there and then of course right here it's a, um, uh, 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 a USB port or a, um, uh, uh, a, a micro USB hub port that you put in there uh, and uh, basically it's a cell phone adapter is what that is so you can charge this really with your cell phone um, uh, 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 charger. Um, and again, just like cell phones, Android phones, and so forth, uh, it uses a single cell, 3.7 volt, um, 1700 milliamp battery pack, which is really sweet. And you can see it just fits right in there. Also, an SD card slot for, uh, for more model memories. This holds 20 model memories, okay, uh, right out of the box. But with the, uh, with the extended card, um, you can put um, really just a whole bunch more on there and this thing fits on uh, nicely. Now again, this thing is ultra slim, very slim radio. No longer do we have the big bulky radios that we're used to. Um, uh, and it just, this thing just has just such an excellent uh, feel to it. And uh, just real impressed with this thing. I haven't put in a model yet. I'm getting ready to put it in. I'll start using it and maybe do a more thorough review of it uh, a, a little bit later on. Now the hardware this thing is gonna come with, um, yeah, we're not really sure what it's gonna come with yet, but um, you can see here the uh, FSIA 10 channel uh, receiver, folks, with ports, in and out ports here for all kinds of different telemetry modules. So this thing has telemetry, really nice, uh, very nice quality receiver. Uh, they put a lot of features in here, like um, uh, what I like is rubber grommets on the antenna exits. So this is really a high-end high -end system uh, here, really, really nice 10 channel. They also have four and six channel receivers that will work with this as well um, uh, from, uh, from FlySky. Now, a bunch of other modules you can use on this if you want to. Right here is the uh, iBus 
uh, serial uh, adapter um, that uh, so if you want to hook up your up to 18 channels actually in serial with a serial uh, uh, style hookup uh, you can do that and then there's a whole sort of plethora of other modules here um, I'll show you one up close there's a, a magnetic RPM uh, sensor there's uh, an optical RPM sensor and there's also a temperature sensor and what I'm going to show you here is the voltage, voltage sensor you can see how small they are they literally just plug uh, right into the uh, the receiver port and um, you get uh, receiver voltage uh, directly uh, receiver battery voltage directly to your uh, transmitter but this also allows you to plug these two right into your lipo battery and up to 30 volts I think it is so you can get your lipo voltage also right on the screen so and you can see what a nice um, just small unit this is no huge bulk, bulky uh, module uh, to go in this thing. Uh, now let's take a closer look at the, uh, the menus on the uh, radio itself. Now as we go into the menus there's two on off switches here and there's two just so you don't make the mistake and turn the thing off by mistake at the wrong time. But you press them both together and you'll see the whole thing will boot up and it asks to make sure all your switches, your throttles all the way down, your switches are all in the up position. Once you do that, you get sort of a groovy sound effect out of it, uh, and you get your, uh, your, uh, your menu up here, which is really just like a cell phone. Now you can see I already programmed a P40B, which I'm probably going to hook this up to. You can see my transmitter voltage here, and again, you charge this thing with really any cell phone charger, um, and your receiver voltage there as well. You can see here your, uh, your transmitter voltage is actually displayed numerical here. Oops, I just picked, pushed a button by mistake. Uh, it's, anyway, your transmitter voltage is uh, transmitted uh, numerically there also, but you can see your menus and your trim and everything. And anytime you trim, it'll actually go to the menu and show you where you've trimmed it. And of course, you can also see your movement in your sticks uh, there as well. So um, now once you release your trim, it will actually go back to automatically the main menu. Centralize that and you see it'll go right back or you can press that button at the bottom but anyway you can see a really nice crystal clear screen here it is a touch screen so you just touch it for what you want uh, uh, to select but also on the side of the radio here guys you can see here really sweet stylus that comes out of the side of this thing again this thing's really a, a, a slick radio I'll go ahead and zoom in on this thing and uh, you go ahead and you select uh, all these different menus you can see your reverse menu right here so you can reverse channels real easy uh, really slick setup how this is. You can back out of your menu right here uh, or you can actually back out of the menu without saving anything which is what this one does. So it says restore to default, defaults are you sure and you select yes. So again you can use either either um, uh, 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 the stylus uh, or really just use your, your finger. So you have endpoint adjustments and so forth you can get into. You can see it's pretty much like a traditional radio but now with sort of a cell phone uh, style of interface. You can see here the uh, the, uh, the sub trim menu so you can trim all your channels out and um, uh, all kinds of things. Flap functions. Expo is a really neat one uh, to go to. Um, lots and lots of features and you can see how you can plot almost anything on the graph that you need to. Uh, you can see the sticks moving uh, and uh, and where everything goes on the on the on the plot. Now, when you're in the Expo uh, menu, you can select any switch you want, and for uh, really whatever you want. And for example, aileron. Um, you see here, I went in, I selected a switch uh, H before, and uh, that allows every time I flip the switch, it tells you whether it's up or down. Um, and then you can go uh, sort of back up into it and uh, take a look at the uh, the rate that I set. Now, it shows the switch position and whether it's a normal rate okay, or whether it's a, a reduced rate. And you can see here I have the rate here set at 70% and then you can go down to your scroll wheel and almost every channel is this way and you can adjust the rate okay, of the, uh, the linear movement and then you can select things like Expo and adjust your curve here guys with this scrolling wheel. So there's really a lot of features that you can do with this thing. Um, and just very detailed again you can select almost any switch uh, that you want uh, to do almost anything. Um, now if you're ever not sure what's going on in this radio the beauty is you can go up here and press the question mark 
and it'll give you instructions right here of how to set up everything. So the instruction manual is actually within the radio on almost every page. So um, you know, no need to carry or consult that. Um, um, it's all really right in the radio. So trims, expo, flap, fun flap functions, aileron to rudder, rudder to aileron, elevator to flap mixing, throttle curves, and then there's other. There's there's two more pages as well. Oops, I just pressed the wrong thing. You can see I'll go to the next page. Uh, aux channels, offsets, um, curves, mixes, you name it. Timers as well. There's also a trainer mode in here that you can go into and, and set everything up. Um, and one, one neat menu that I actually like is the um, air, airplane structure. So you can actually modify the type of airplane. So if you have a plane, for example, um, that uh, uh, has a V-tail or, 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 um, or something, so you can select V-tail and go back. It actually changes it for you and tells you what it is. If you have spoilers, you can actually add spoilers onto the airplane. Let's see where the spoilers are. Okay, do you have two spoilers? We'll put two spoilers on the plane. So again, it changes the graphical interface for the type of plane that you have. And then um, if you need uh, the mixes for it, it will actually add the mixes. You notice before, uh, there was no V-tail mix in here. Now all of a sudden they added the V-tail mix icon. So you can uh, just adjust all that stuff where it needs to be. Again, you've got a, a question mark up here to go in to explain how to set things up. And also you've got your scroll wheel so you can uh, adjust everything. Really, really slick uh, radio, guys. Um, I'll, I'll scroll a little farther here to the back. We'll see what the last page is. Um, uh, there's also, again, timers. Uh, receiver setup, different models. So you've got all kinds of different models. Again, model memories. Again, I programmed in this uh, P40. Um, system menu and so forth. You can adjust the backlight, uh, the USB function, firmware updates and everything because everything's software uh, updatable. Um, receiver setup, so if you need to bind a receiver. Again, if you don't know what to do, just go to the question mark and it talks all about um, setting up the entire radio. Um, anyway, guys, really slick radio. I just wanted to give you a quick sort of uh, overview of this thing. You can see I can put my stylus right here, uh, right back into the stylus slot. Uh, and uh, and uh, it's just a really slick radio, guys. Anyway, this is the Fly Sky again, FS um, uh, I-10, 10, 10 channel radio with all telemetry. Uh, and it's going to be in the low to mid um, $200 range, guys. Very, very sweet radio. Uh, for more info on this, uh, uh, I'll be putting out another video later, hopefully, uh, uh, later on, hopefully, uh, giving a lot more detail on it. Um, but I think this is sort of the shape of things to come, guys. Real thin radio, um, again, sort of like a merger of, a, of an Android phone and a radio with real easy programmability and uh, cell phone charging, basically, using a cell phone charger with a single cell lithium pack. I just love the feel of this radio. It has a nice, um, everything, all the switch position, everything seems to be real nice and reachable. And, uh, and it's a solidly built radio. Um, definitely not a, a, a tinny, uh, tinny machine. Really nice uh, piece of equipment. Uh, anyway, inquire at uh, Diamond Hobby about this thing. Uh, again, it's a new radio coming out. Uh, check with them at diamondhobby.com. Uh, thanks for checking out the, this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching RC Informer, and as always, we'll see you next time.